I think that was kind of like 90s though. You know, now it's more like real singing, um, really sustaining notes, holding them, um, you know, all the running. I don't think people are really doing that like that no more. It's just, on this album, I'm just doing a lot more real, real singing and really showing my vocal abilities and my range and showing my falsetto more. Mm -hmm. Uh, technology today, do you find it in your favor with uh, downloading that? Um, I don't think it's in anybody's favor. I mean, if you look at artists 10 years ago, um, and even six years ago, people were selling records just because they had come out with an album. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, you know, people have the opportunity to get music free. So it's like, they could even like your music and still get it free. You know what I'm saying? And I've had people come up to me, I got your album, I got your album. And they had a burnt copy of the album. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But what can you really do? It's almost like, you know, with it being a recession, people not having money like that. It's almost understood. It's almost understandable that, okay, you can buy this single or you can get it free. And nowadays, you have to really totally be into an artist or really know what they're all about and what they stand for in order to really you know, buy into their music. You know, nowadays it's more than the music. It's about the connection that the fans and, and, and the general public has with the artists versus them just liking the song. Because then they liked your song, they had to buy it. They had to buy a CD. Now they can get it for free. So I definitely think that, you know, with the download and the internet and all that, that um, it's definitely taking a toll on everybody, not just me. I think it's taking a toll on the industry as a whole. You know, a lot of jobs are being cut back. Not just albums that are not being sold. It's a lot of people that are working at labels. Labels are, are downsizing because of it. I mean, it's like, why do I need to hire a whole staff when I can get two or three dudes or even just have me an internet team to run my label? You know what I'm saying? Because that's where it's going. And that's, I mean, that's where it is right now. And that's really where it's going. Uh, do you believe that there's a fake army? And what do you consider to be real army? Um, I mean, honestly, I think I don't think it's like a fake or a real. I think that, you know, um, music and this industry has become so accessible to everybody. So first of all, it's not, it's not fans anymore. That person that used to be a fan is now an artist. So instead of them liking your music, they coming up to you like, hey, look, I'm, I'm a producer or I'm a singer. I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? Instead of them, hey man, I admire you, I really love you, they all hate. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like, it's not easy for anybody out here. I mean, unless you have that major backing behind a, a major company that's willing to continuously dump money into you to make you big. You know, um, as far as real R&B, I think real R&B to me is like, it, it has that live instrumentation, it has a uh, it has a soulness about it. You can feel it, um, and you can hear it, that fake from real if you know real music. Now, if you don't really know real music from fake, then you don't know what real R&B is. It's like you can't explain it. It's something that has to hit you, and it's something that has to come from the heart. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's definitely a difference, but if you're not in tune with music and don't know real music from fake music, if you don't know where music came from, then you really are not going to understand the difference between real and fake. Last one. Anybody? What are your goals with this album? Um, my goals with this album is for everybody to hear it. You know, of course I want to sell a million records. We all do. Um, but I really want people to, to really hear my music. I feel like if people hear my music, they'll feel my music because as you all you guys all heard i'm not playing with it you know what i'm saying it's all real a lot of live instrumentations a lot of real r&b music and a lot of music that you can feel in your soul you know what i'm saying so um my goal is to just you know continue to make hit records continue to grow as an artist continue to make albums um and to really become to get in a position where i can help somebody else out and really get my label, Blue Collar, going real big so that I can empower others. I can teach them about the business because the business is really, it's really all politics, honestly, at the end of the day. And I think that that's with any job that you have. It's all political. You know, it's about who you know, if they believe in you, if they like you, if they want to put the money behind you, if they want, because I mean, you could go to college and have no degree and somebody that knows the president 
then go to college. The politics of them is going to get them the job before you because he don't know you. You know what I'm saying? So the music industry is the same way, you know, with award shows and all of that stuff. It's about does the company pitch for you? Um, it's about do you know the dude that's, that's running the whole program, you know, or whatever. You know, it, it's all politics. So my goals are just really honestly to just continue to be successful, continue to make hit records, and continue to make albums, you know, and I figure that eventually, if you keep making good music, you know, people will continue to keep buying it, you know. I've been successful thus far. I'm very thankful and very blessed. Um, I thank God every day for the opportunity um, that I've had. You know, I'm on my fourth album. Whether it sells a million or whether it sells boo-boo, I'm going to be happy, you know what I'm saying, because I've done what I wanted to do in my life, and I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to continue to work hard. I'm going to continue to stay blue-collar, and I'm going to continue to stay out here and work and, and touch the people and, and make the people that do hear my mu music feel it. Amen. One more time about it, everybody. <laughs>